But first here at 6 to a breaking news update. Pasco County deputies have made an arrest in relation to a missing person case. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameis Newell. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. Today marks a week since anyone has seen or heard from 24-year-old Kathleen Moore of Largo. ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burton has been following this case. And J.J., he joins us live uh, from a vigil being held in St. Pete tonight. We're still waiting for more details about this arrest, but you're there with co-workers and friends. Tell us what their reaction is now knowing that there's been an arrest in this case. All right, they're, they're hopeful that this will lead to at least some answers as to where Kathleen could be and what happened to her. But you can see back here behind us, they have started lighting the candles. They're coming up one at a time to light the candles. And this is their way of lighting her way home safely. And then there's a picture right up there that says, my story isn't over yet. And that's what they're hoping for Kathleen. And like we told you, the um, boyfriend, according to Pasco County Sheriff's Office, is the last person to see Kathleen. They did search his house. We were there when they did that, and they left with several ba uh, bags of evidence. They also searched the wooded area behind the 7-Eleven, which is near the house, and they left with bags of evidence there as from there as well. And across the street, there's a Walgreens where Kathleen's phone was found in a dumpster, and they have that also. Again, that arrest they made earlier today, they're not going to tell us who they arrested until that 8, 8, that 8 p.m. press conference, which we do have a crew there. But right now, live, I'm here with Jamie Poe, and she's the uh, Kathleen's manager here at Whiskey Wings in St. Pete. And you're the one who called 911, reported her missing on Tuesday. And uh, when you first found out that they made an arrest today, your first reaction to that, your first thought? My heart dropped. Um, it's my day off, and um, I don't know what to think. I, my first thought was to get up here to Whiskey Wings to make sure that um, all of her friends and family and co-workers, we all want to be here to hear what Pasco County Sheriff's has to say. And again, you guys are hopeful that you will find that, she, that she'll find her and bring her home some way, somehow. We're hoping. We're hoping that they're going to tell us that she's okay and they found her. And that's, that's just what we're hoping for. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And then they've been lighting these candles all week long and they're still lighting them. Again, this is their way, hopefully, lighting her way home. Again, that press conference will start at 8 p.m. in Pasco County at the Sheriff's Office. If you have a crew there, we've been following this story since it, the very beginning. And we're going to stay on top of it tonight as well. Reporting live in St. Pete, I'm JJ Burton, ABC Action News.